this is easy. Why were you so flipped out about saying his name? <laughs> I wanted to split it. I said, Tim, you do the restaurant, I'll do the name, or vice versa. I'm not doing both. And Tim, with perfection, says them both. Benvenute, Daniele Puleo from Cibo Divino. Amazing. Show off. I am really amazed. <laughs> I, I am have too. To tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we just became our best friend. <laughs> And I will be cooked along with the chopped liver and the recipe. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so what are we making today? This smells really good. Yes, today we're making tortellini, which is a type of uh, um, uh, stuffed pasta. It's a great winter pasta. So uh, you can use it in many different ways. You can do tortellini in brodo, which is the uh, tortellini with the chicken stock, or you can use sure. beef stock. Right. Or um, with many other preparations. You can even bake them if you and want. And this is stuff for the cheese. You, you this could, is stuff for cheese because I want to stay away them. from some people that yes. might be ve um, vegetarian. So I, uh, I want to use cheese. I want to stay All the food neutral. restrictions. Right. Neutral. You That's understand. Right. That's right. So this is, uh, um, uh, this is called uh, tortellini with uh, gorgonzola and rucola. Okay, rucola is what is called arugula. Yeah. It's the new lettuce. You can see arugula everywhere nowadays. Right. Um, Lots more flavor, not as boring yes. as lettuce. No, well, you know, it's uh, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, still it's because boring, it's got the, the little bit of spiciness yeah. and bitterness. So um, many people call it the Italian lettuce. Okay, so that's why we okay. we use it for many. So recipes. you've been doing some chopping so over here. So I do what some do chopping. Together? Yes, this recipe is basically uh, with leeks. Obviously, your viewers can see the the entire recipe on um, on your website. Mm -hmm. It's done with leeks, mushrooms and uh, uh, heavy whipping cream. I start with butter a little bit, otherwise I couldn't melt the gorgonzola cheese at the end. And then we got uh, salt, salt and pepper, obviously, the arugula, gorgonzola cheese. Here I already started one, okay, that it was uh, kind of uh, drying up because I was waiting for I you know, guys. I know, we took so long to get over here, didn't we? We just over there so, with those comedians, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you thought this was a shot, no. And you want to do this with a <laughs> really <laughs> hot stove because it needs yes. to, boom, 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 let's yes. get it moving, yes. right? This one takes three minutes. Yeah. I mean, Michelangelo took forever to do the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> My masterpiece, three minutes only. So at this point, I'm gonna add my gorgonzola oh, into this sauce, okay? Gorgonzola is the um, unskinned milk, um, um, uh, coming from cow milk. Mm -hmm. It's an Italian blue cheese, basically. Yeah. Once it's done, this pasta will take literally, you know, two, three minutes to cook. Did you pre-cook that for us? I mean, in the pasta. restaurant you would, because you want to be able well, to. Well, no, no, actually, fresh pasta takes only two, three minutes. Yeah. Tellini gets a little, takes a little longer because sure. it's a little thicker. Mm -hmm. See, we should have thrown the pasta in. We should have done that, yeah. Right, but uh, you know, I didn't want to do I wanted, I wanted to cook live. 30 seconds, 35 seconds is going to be done, so I throw it in here. And you guys can taste it if you want to. It's up to oh, you. Yeah. Otherwise, we can give it to everybody else. We're yeah. always up for a taste. Okay, so let's show folks so, really quickly as we wrap it up what we're going to do with the, uh, the arugula okay, there. So the arugula goes in after I put all the rest of the stuff. Right, and you're going to want that to just wilt a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. It cooks yeah. a little bit. You can give it a rough cut or you can leave a hole if it's the baby arugula. Tell you so what we're going to do. It cooks really well. We are going to finish this up, plate it up for you, make it look yes. absolutely gorgeous, and we're going to check your weather forecast. We do have the entire link, and we should mention your place is at the new Sylvan 30 development in Dallas. Sylvan and right. 30, where else? Anyway, recipe on foxfornews.com. We'll be right back.